Now that we have our vase complete, we need to create a floor and two walls to complete our overall project. So let's first take a look at the top view. And I'm using the scroll wheel to scroll out. Here is my camera. Here is my light. And then obviously here is my vase. So when I set up my walls, I want one wall here. I want another wall here. And obviously, obviously a floor beneath the vase. So since I'm already in this view, let's go ahead and create the floor. Well, the floor or walls are just going to be a plane. So I'm going to do Shift A, Add, Mesh, Plane. But this is going to be too small of a floor. So I'm going to hit S for Scale and scale this up and relocate it. Since the vase will sort of sit back in the corner, I'm going to put most of the floor towards the camera. Now it's going to be okay that these walls and floors intersect. That's exactly what we want. They don't have to end nice and neatly, but they do need to intersect. So I have my floor. But let's take a look at this from a side view. So now I'm in a right ortho view. This floor is actually cutting through my vase. I don't want that. So let me go ahead and zoom in I'm using the scroll wheel. I'm going to click and hold on this arrow and drag this down until the vase is just sitting on top of the floor. I don't want it uh, cutting through. I don't want it floating in the air. I want it sitting on that floor. All right. So now I have my floor. Oh, actually I can see right here. I'm a little bit too high. It's actually cutting through. So let me switch back to this view. Let me lower this just a little bit more. Good. Now we have it sitting on the floor. Let me go ahead back to my right ortho because in this view I can go ahead and create the wall that would be here. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Again, I need to add a mesh plane. I need to scale it, letter S. And now I have a problem. If I look from the top, my wall is sitting in between my vase and my camera. I don't want that. I need to move it so it's sitting back here someplace. Let me take a look at that now. That's fine. So you can see it is intersecting. It is passing much further below. And that's okay for what we're doing. I'm switching now to the front ortho. So here's the wall I just created. There's already a floor here. So I need to add another plane. So Shift A, Add Mesh Plane. Again, too small. S for scale. Scale it up. Let me take a look at it from the top view. So I'm hitting 7 on my keyboard. And this one is okay. Had it been someplace over here, it would be sitting in between the camera and my vase. I would need to move it back someplace about there. So now I have my two walls and I've got my floor. Let's take a look at what this would look like in my camera view. So I'm simply grabbing hold of this little hashed corner, dragging it over so I get another view. I'm going to drag that so I don't really need those tools. With my mouse over here, I'm going to hit <laughs> 0 on the keyboard. And that's my camera view. So I'm looking to see, let me just move this over just a little bit more. I'm looking to see if I like the overall composition where things are, are lining up. And I can move my camera and my lighting a little bit later on if I don't like that. But for right now, I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and... Just drag this over so that it collapses and I end up with just the one view. So now I add, want to add some color to these. So we need to select what we want to color. So I did a right click. I need to come over here and pick my material. This is that little circle here. I need to add a new material. And then I'm going to change this diffuse color here. This is a color that I've already chosen or picked and I like. I can certainly use my uh, selector here and pick any other number of colors. I can use it using the hue uh, saturation values. I can do it that way. But I'm going to go ahead and use that color right there. I'm also going to make this wall the same color. So still material, still new. We're here for the diffuse. I'm going to go back to my hex because I know what that color is going to be. I'm going to paste that in so I end up with the same color for both walls. So now I've colored my walls. Let me go ahead and do my floors. Right click on the floor. 
add new. Let me pick a different color. This time let me pick it using the RGB. Let's go with a little bit of a dark color. All right. And let's see how that looks when we render it. So I'm going to click on the little camera here for render. Then click on this tab for render. And that actually is looking pretty good. I could adjust my light and my camera <coughs> to get uh, a little bit different effect if I want to, but that's actually looking pretty good. So let's say this is my final image. I like the way that this render looks. <coughs> And if you don't, with the mouse over this image, just hit Escape to get back to this view here. To render again, make sure you're on the camera, click on Render. Now once I get this looking the way I want, to save it, you need to make sure that your render settings are correct. So you have to be on your Render tab. I'm going to scroll down here. This oftentimes will be set for ping. I want to save mine as a JPEG, so let's make sure we change it to JPEG. And there are some other settings associated with that, but most time when you pick JPEG, those will be correct for what you want to do. So I'm going to come down here, not up to this main menu here, but to the menu that's specific to this window or port. So image, save as image. And you can see now that it is set as a JPEG because that's what I had it set for down below. I'm going to leave it as demo. I'm going to leave it on my desktop. I could change those if I wanted to. And it's simply going to say save as image. So if I now hide this, you'll see I have my rendered image saved as a JPEG. I'll go back then to Blender. So this is how you then create your two walls in your floor and how to save your final rendered image as a JPEG.